I'm your host, Tina Renee. You guys remember Dee Marie the chef? She came in a few weeks ago and made her delicious flan dish, and it was the caramel and perfection at its finest. Well, guess what? She's in the house today. Welcome to the dollhouse, Miss Dee Marie. Hi. So glad Thanks to have you back. Okay, what are we making today? And tell us a little bit about it. Okay, I'm making a Puerto Rican dish. Actually, this is more of my mom and dad dish. And, um, but it's made with um, Puerto Rican rice and Puerto Rican chicken, or cooked in a Puerto Rican way. And uh, we're going to make kind of like a chicken rice lasagna. Ooh. And this is something that they, they kind of put together for parties and potlucks at work. And, and it has been a hit. Ever chicken since they and rice lasagna. That just sounds good coming off my tongue. I can't wait. Um, we're going to be adding a little twist to the show today as well. We are going to be sipping De Marie and I from our Dallas's wine glasses, decorative wine, um, and we'll be giving you some information at the end of the show on the glasses and how you can have your very own. Because true doll sip in style, right, Miss De Marie? Sure. Let's get started. All right, go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the rice first, rice and then the chicken. And uh, we have to cook the, the rice up for about 20 to 30 minutes. So that's what we're going to start with that first. <clears throat> we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to bring the pot over. So we're going to pour a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pot. Just to kind of uh, um, moisten the bottom of it. And just to cover the bottom. Not too much, so the rice won't be all greasy. Okay, and that's olive oil. And that's olive oil. Okay. And then I have a mix in here that we use for stews and um, and rice. And what's in it? It's green because it's a mixture of green bell peppers, uh, cilantro, garlic, and onion. And um, it's a little bit liquidy because I don't like to have the chunks of the cilantro and all that stuff on the rice. So if you like it, you can actually just chop them very finely and drop them in the pot. Otherwise, you can put it on a, on a what do you call it, on a foot chopper and then just, you know, blend them together and toss them in the pot. Now, is that spicy? Well, no, it is not, not spicy. Not spicy. it's just bell pepper, cilantro, mm -hmm. garlic, and onion. Okay. So we're going to put about two tablespoons of it. Okay. And then we're going to add... Uh, some tomato sauce and we're going to use about this is um, a 14 15 ounce can so we're going to use about seven ounces of it seven ounces of the yeah, 15 which ounce be like can. about half of it seven seven and a half ounces okay so we're going to use about half of it okay and we're going to put the olives some olives so can, this is just green regular green olives I slice them just to kind of add a little bit of flavor to the rice. Okay. And we're gonna let this simmer a little bit. Okay. And is this creating like a sauce? Like it's like a sauce for the rice. Okay. And also we're gonna add uh, something here that we call sazon goya. It has uh, some coloring to it, uh, but it's all natural ingredients. And uh, it has uh, cumin. In it, and we just kind of sprinkle just a little bit. We don't want it to have uh, too much of it because then it gets salty. Okay. So we're gonna put this in the stove. Okay. Now, how long should we let this simmer? We let it simmer for like about um, about five to ten minutes. Okay. So about five to ten minutes. That's simmering. And in the rice, I usually like to also add at least one leaf of bay leaf. And we're gonna put one in. Okay. Now, does that add some sort of flavor? It adds okay. flavor to it. Okay. So we're gonna leave it simmering, and then once that is done, we're gonna add um, two cup of rice, and we're gonna add uh, 16 ounces of uh, chicken stock, and that's the the chicken stock that we use when we prepare the chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna let that simmer, and then we're gonna get to the chicken. So for the chicken, 
We're also going to use a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. I like to use olive oil because it's healthier. <laughs> okay. And then same thing, we're going to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. Okay. And then we're going to also add a little bit of this. What we call sofrito. That's that's sofrito. the name. Sofrito. Ooh, I like that. Sofrito. Sofrito. I like that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of um, tomato sauce, and we're gonna let it let it cook a little bit. Okay. And we're not gonna use the whole can. Just a little bit, just to kind of create a sauce for the chicken. And um, the chicken is already cooked. Okay. We boiled it with uh, some um, with some onion and garlic. Water, of course, and we use a little bit of the of uh, what do you call the oh my god, salt, pepper, and uh, season, the season. bouillon. A oh, bouillon, okay. And so we okay. use some of that as well. Chicken that gives it a lot of flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this in the stove and let it cook. Okay. Now, how long should this simmer for? This should be for like about five minutes. Or okay. So. so ten minutes for the uh, for the rice. Uh, Sauce and then about five for the chicken. Okay. And also in it, we're gonna add some um, diced pepper, red peppers, and we're gonna add whatever is left of the uh, oh, olives. Okay. Okay. And we're adding this to the chicken sauce. The chicken sauce. Okay. Great. And then the uh, we're not gonna add uh, all the um, all the red pepper. We just add about. Two tablespoons of it should be enough. Now, does this make it a little spicier? Mm, no, this is just like sweet peppers. Okay, it just kind of gives it a flavor to it. Okay. Mm. Smelling good over here, guys, and we haven't even got started with adding all the chicken and rice. And then, let me check on the rice. I'm kind of stirred from time to time, so. It's all the flavors all flavor mixed in all and mixed in. And then, then so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the rice because I think that's pretty much done to the sauce. We're gonna add the rice to the sauce. Okay. And here are the two cups. And we're gonna mix it. Okay. And then we're gonna add the chicken stock. And I want the rice to get all blended with the sauce. Okay. Get a nice blend going on, and then we will add the, the chicken. chicken stock. Okay. And I prefer to use the long grain because it cooks better. Okay. And that's the long grain rice. Long grain. Okay. Rice. So we don't use all of the the chicken. The chicken so we use about like about sixteen. Six. Okay. Which is two cups. Okay. Two cups and all oh, fries and the two cups of the chicken stock. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. This is all already blended in. Okay. Then we let it simmer mm -hmm. for about 30 minutes. We start in medium heat and then once the rice is dried up, then you have to lower the fire to a low heat. That way the rice doesn't burn and sticks to the top. So we're gonna start low. Then going back to the chicken. So once the sauce is done, we're just going to add the chicken to it. Okay. And this is all shredded chicken. Okay, it needs to be all shredded. 
so it can layer nicely. And it's about like about I would say two pounds of chicken. Two pounds? Okay. And then just mix it all in. Okay. And let it sit for about a good 15 minutes. Okay. Because the chicken is already cooked. So you're just pretty much letting everything mix together. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the chicken stock. And by a little bit, I mean like about an ounce of the chicken stock. Because once you start layering it, you don't want it to be too moist. That way it doesn't get the rice all wet. Seems like it's going to be a very flavorful dish. All these flavors and then it smells great. Okay, just let it cook. And I'm gonna sip while we let it cook. <laughs> I just used some more of the um, cilantro and the cumin mixture. Kind of add a little bit more flavor to it. A little bit more of the tomato sauce in, and of course that's for more flavor, added flavor, and so you can kind of, uh, kind of eyeball it and decide whether you want more sauce or not. But try not to make it too, too moist. That way it doesn't just get into the rice because you want every layer to be individual, has this individual flavor. You want to be able to savor the rice and the chicken individually as well. Okay. Okay, and then we let it cook about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so we're doing about 30 on the rice and 15 to 20 on the chicken. All right. And then we just let it cook. To the chicken, I also like to add also some Liam Perry sauce. It actually brings a lot of the flavor in the chicken. And that's a Leon yeah. Perry sauce? Yeah, the Worcestershire sauce. That should be good. A couple of drops. And then also some cooking oil. Okay. Any red cooking oil will do. So red cooking oil. Yeah. And if, if you don't have cooking wine, just use regular wine. She's not doing so. Just as good as cooking wine. And the, the cooking wine gives it like a sweet flavor. And the uh, Warshire sauce, it has like molasses in it, so it actually adds also sweet flavor to it. So we're gonna let that cook. And I think that's all the ingredients for the chicken. Okay. And then while that cooks, I'm gonna sip some more. Absolutely. <laughs> we're sipping. So our chicken is done. Our rice, uh, we had it a uh, medium heat and then we lowered the heat uh, to finish cooking it once the water dried up. And it, it is supposed to look like this with a very, um, what do you call, loose consistency. Not lumpy rice, but all nice. You can see the grains, all nice and loose. So what we're gonna do, since it's already done, and our chicken is done. It's our chicken. Looks so nice. And we're going to go ahead and bring it over to the counter. And we're going to start layering. Okay. And so what we're going to do is, we're going to do a layer of 
rice. To cover the bottom, we're gonna start with a layer of rice, then we're gonna layer, uh, do a layer of chicken, and then we're gonna use some Swiss cheese. Mm. And we're gonna do another layer of Swiss cheese, then rice again, chicken, and Swiss cheese. Now, I'm noticing that the Swiss cheese is extra thick. Does that, I mean, it wouldn't matter if it were like the thinner slices or it's better if it's a thicker? But no, it doesn't matter. Okay. It depends how much cheese do you want to make. See, make. I love cheese, so I would do so. thick. Okay, yeah, I'm a cheese So lover. it depends how you like it. Okay. If, you like, if you're a cheese lover, then you can put as much cheese as you want. And even if it's thin, you can always kind of double layer it. So we're going to start by putting a layer of fries. I have a question. Yes. I'm a spicy food lover. I love my food to be spicy. So I add hot sauce to practically everything. For a dish like this, it seems like it would be so good with some just spice to it. So what would you recommend for a spicy food lover like myself if I wanted to add a little kick to the dish? You can add some Tabasco sauce. To Tabasco? Chicken. Okay. And okay. That, that will make it spicy. When you are blending the sauce, you can add some Tabasco sauce to it and that will bring the spice into your dish. Thank you. Tabasco sauce. Okay. So we're going to be very generous adding rice to the bottom. We're going to cover the bottom. I'm going to kind of flatten it up a little bit. And then we're going to add chicken. And then we're going to do the layer of chicken. And if you have a deeper dish, you can you can actually um, do as many layers as you like. Okay. Remember when we were making the flan the last time you were in the dollhouse, I was saying how I'm an appetizer cook. I love doing those little party dishes. This would be good. Like a par I mean, even though you can do like dinner with it, it I can see this being a party dish too because yes. of the layers and this would work well for me. And you can cut like a lasagna mm -hmm. and you can serve it just like it. And uh, it's, it's actually um, a full meal because there's rice, yeah. you can add vegetables if you like, but there's rice, there's chicken, so you have your proteins, you have your carbs in there. All in one. All in one. <laughs> so all you need is, you know, side salad if you like. Mm -hmm. And that's about it, and that will do for your, for your dinner. It's easy to cook, and you can feed your whole family all at one in one dish. You don't have to be worrying about making too many um, dishes. Dishes. Yeah. So now we're gonna put the cheese. So we're doing a nice layer on the top. taught me how to cook this and I love this it's like uh, it's almost like eating rice with chicken mixed together mm -hmm. I, 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 I just love it and actually the chicken when you cook it this way uh, just to let you know when you cook the, the chicken this way you can also use it for empanadas all you need is the dough of the empanadas and once you have your chicken prepared all you need to do is put it in the dough fold it and seal it with a fork and you're done. And, and you fry your empanada. Ooh, okay. Sounds and I like empanadas. So the beef ones, I generally get those. That's a, okay. You can cook the beef the same way for empanadas. It's just the same concept, just with a different type of meat. That's all. So we're going to do another layer of chicken. Just for the empanadas, sometimes we like to add um, like a sliced boiled egg. And we like to add sometimes raisins to it because it add, adds like a sweet flavor to the meat. Mm, that but sounds if, interesting. But if you're not interested on, on something too sweet, like raisins, then you can just leave the, leave the raisins that. out. Yeah. yeah. But it gives it a good flavor. People will think like meat and raisins, but it actually tastes really, really good. Okay. So we can do a lot of things with this, this chicken dish, not just one. So a couple of different things you can do. I like that. And we're almost done with 
this layer. You can. Yeah, once once you have shredded chicken, you can. You have endless possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot you can do with it. And like you said, it doesn't take very long either. So, you know, after a long day of work or whatever it may be, you can go and make this really quick, put it in the oven, and you're done. Yes. And you're, it's fulfilling. Look, you have your chicken, your rice, all in one. And then the cheese. I know that's going to be my favorite part because I'm a cheese lover. So the cheesier so. is the better. And then remember, if you want that spicy kick like me, you would just add Tabasco sauce. That's right. So. And also you can have, um, um, you can do a variation. Instead of using Swiss cheese, you can also use Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. That's okay. another option. So now we're done with the, with the layering. So now we're going to put it in the oven. You put it in the oven for about 20 minutes just so the cheese melts and everything kind of blends together. Okay. So about 20 minutes, we're in the oven with the uh, layered chicken and rice lasagna. And then... Are you guys ready for the grand finale? And this is what your dish will look like. Wow, la, isn't that lovely? That's worth sipping to. Mm. Dee Marie, that looks great. This looks absolutely amazing. It's got a chicken and cheese pie. Oh, I can't wait to try it. I'm just like, my mouth is watering just looking at it. It looks so, it's just great. Okay, so you want to... I am so ready to taste this right now. You have no idea. Lay it on me. Let's see, just, it's just like a lasagna. Yeah, just like a lasagna. And I'm a cheese lover too. Are you? Uh, it's like if it has cheese on it, I'm just satisfied. I love my cheese. For a second that I won't. Here we go. Look at all this. Look at this, you guys. Look at all that. You just gotta love that. You gotta love it. Here we go. <laughs> sold. I was trying to be polite and wait till I swallowed it all to say anything, but I'm sold. This is great. Thank you. This is great. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you guys enjoy it when you prepare it at home. We will. Before I let our viewers go, I want to let you guys know, if you'd like to sip and style like Dee Marie and I have today, you can easily do so. We have a variety of glasses. If you're more into the bling and dazzle, we have that. If you're more neutral and subtle, we have that too. You can go to our website, Tina Renee's Dollhouse. Dot com and you can also place orders at yes don't you love it and you're going home with that miss t marie thank you she is going home with that you can go and place your email orders at dollasses at gmail.com check out our inventory at pinterest just type in dollasses instagram just type in dollasses we'll see you soon yeah. t marie i love you